Hey everyone, welcome back to the Launch Table Podcast, where we bring you crappy news about us. All right, so John. my family just got home, so Blake Blake and I had something set up to do later, but because my family's home, I think we should do it now. Blake, do you want to start? Blake, can you hear me? Blake? Um, wait, your family just got home? Yeah. So we should probably do the thing now. Wait, Elijah? Yeah. Oh, I, oh, Elijah, did you... Did Blake... Wait, did you hear that? Uh, yeah. Because but he cut out for out. me. I'm, I'm sorry. Why'd you completely cut out? It's probably because my family got home and all my brother's stuff just reconnected to the router. That's awesome. Yeah, well, I, you guys didn't cut out for me, so... Blake, All right, we should probably hey me. Blake, we should probably do the thing now since my family's home. Hey, uh, hey Dallas. What? You're white. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's going on. I overreacted. <laughs> Get back to business. <laughs> Elijah, you're up. <laughs> I can't now. Okay. Oh. Dallas, your hair's brown. Yeah. Oh, holy fucking shit! Got him! <laughs> <laughs> there's the first. There's the first. Stop! Oh! <laughs> holy! Stuff flying everywhere. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Okay. You're lucky, this, you're lucky this internet's holding me back. All right. So, if you if you haven't uh, if you haven't hey, left wait. yet, there's lappy tappy everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a really joke. bad porno. Hey Blake. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> it's everywhere. Blake, do you know how your girlfriend was last night? Oh, um, cause I do. She was, she was okay. Her shoulders. Basically screwed up, so she just sat there and watched while I, I bowled against one of our friends and kind of humiliated him. <laughs> sat there and Did watched. nobody else hear that? <laughs> no. Blake, I heard it. I, I heard it, Dallas. Wait, do you know how your girl, how your girlfriend was last night? Because I do. Oh God. Oh. 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 <laughs> Dallas. Yeah. That's the best I'm doing. I'm not afraid. To, I pray that maybe oh, Jeremiah Spencer gets on. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll yeah. Show, show we... Jeremiah or Spencer's at a basketball game playing in the band, and Jeremiah's. <laughs> I thought, I thought he said... not not having sex. <laughs> not having sex. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said playing in the van. What? I don't. Oh, <laughs> I'm still talking about Spencer. I thought you yeah. were, we're talking about yeah. Jeremiah, like. How'd you get that out of... No. I thought you said Spencer was still playing in the van. Okay. <laughs> still playing in the van. All right, what are we talking about first? Uh, what's been going on recently? Dallas, is your... I think we said he was getting a new laptop last time. Um, what's the update on that? I've lied. I'm getting a new desktop. Okay, new computer. Uh, as, far, as far as I know, it is at the shop... Currently, because uh-huh. I ordered it last Saturday, and it said oh, three it. to five day shipping. Oh wow! But I haven't had a way to get to the shop, so I will take you there. That just reminded In me. In April. Super play of. <laughs> that just reminded me of that really bad song. <laughs> I, the only line I know from it is "Jody, I will take you there." Dallas. Uh, Problem. Ashley says Dale is wearing my jeans. Oh, God, shut up. (laughs) I will slap the white right off you. Blake? (laughs) Flinny just calls you white! Oh! It's like Blake to the max. 
<laughs> what was I even saying? Oh, yeah. Your com- computer. Yeah. <laughs> I just need to go and get it. Mm-hmm. And then I will have proper streaming yep. mater- uh, hardware. Because uh-huh. it's an Alienware X51R2. Is that right, Blake? Did I mess up that name? Uh, it's an Aura? No, it's an X51. Oh, yeah, yeah, because the Aura's the big one. Yeah, it's a, it's a yeah. X51 revision. X51 R2 i5 processor, NVIDIA's 645 I graphics card. I 8 gigs, have... one gig, one gigabyte. 8 gigs of RAM. What? What's wrong with i7? What? Um, uh, it's this... $300 more. It, and it's a mini desktop. It's like you can, it's you, smaller. You can have like one set. It's about the same size as like an Xbox 360, probably just a little bit bigger. You couldn't have squoze that out of your dad? Another $300? No. Okay. I, That'd be almost I got exactly 800 Oh Uh-oh. I had exactly 800 from him, and then I had to pay the rest. Okay. Oh, wow. So how much was Which it? Is 78. How much did it cost? $78. Oh, my dog heard a slightly smaller dog. <laughs> like you can't. The most podcast. You can't beat anyone up. <laughs> okay. Um. I guess. Yeah. I've been doing not much. Spencer set up another Minecraft server for us, and we've been playing on that. I've been playing on that mostly. Uh, I got more into the speed running. Uh, thing with Super Mario 64 as it started working on 70 Star. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I'm better than Dallas. No, you're not. That's debatable. <laughs> it's very debatable considering he had a, a, a 40 at Big Boo Haunt and I had a 29. Hey! I pra- By the way, I a good time is sub-20. I've practiced since then. <laughs> now I, I haven't. Now I can get a 39. <laughs> ah, jokes uh, all over the place. Um, Blake. I had a good day at school today. Blake did not. What did not what? Have a good have day. a good day at school because you didn't uh, freaking go. No, I didn't go. Oh, he went you just not to school. I, I was I was sick with the uh the squirt. With the uh, Connor Herpes boys. I had the crazy Russian horses. And they gave you got her. Got her siblings. Okay. So my day of school consisted of uh, an English class. This is the only part of school that mattered today. An English class. Stella, the girl who was sitting, like across the desk from me who sat next to Ian messaged me on Facebook. I wish we could say her last name. It's the best last name ever. Yeah, but we're not saying it. Does it rhyme with bison? So. Lightning mahogany. (laughs) McTubular. Dang it, Blake. (laughs) (laughs) McTubular, yes. (laughs) So, um, She messaged me on Facebook while she was sitting across the desk from me saying, Lightning, I feel so freaking dumb sitting next to Ian right now. Okay. And I texted back like, I'd feel dumber sitting next to Emily. By the way, Emily is a girl that is good at everything and does everything so well that anybody should be intimidated by her. You guys know, uh, Blake knows who I'm talking about, right? Um, Who? Emily. Oh, yeah. Em- okay. Emil. So, so, uh, Stella goes and tells Ian and Jake, who sits next to me, that I felt more intim- uh, dumber next to Emily than I did to Ian. So, I was like, so, Stella, you want to talk about how this conversation started? By you saying that you felt so freaking dumb sitting next to Ian, and she blushed so hard, it was just a beautiful day all around. 
Come, Blake wasn't there. This gr- is, doesn't this girl, doesn't she like Jeremiah? No one likes Jeremiah. Okay, how's come you're like flirting with her more than he does? And he hasn't even like met her. No one likes yeah, yeah. Jeremiah. Okay. They were texting today. What? They were what? texting today. And Stella messaged me asking what she should respond to it. Oh my god. Because What did he was... say? I want your um name. The message started out as, hey. Um, by the way, I told Jeremiah to text her in the first place. Oh god. Because she was starting to get over him because he hadn't texted her at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. You can tell <laughs> So you can tell he's enthused to be with her. So she replies, Yo. Yep. <laughs> and then he says, Wait for it. What's up? <laughs> oh god. You're supposed to go with it. The girls like that. And she's just like, not much getting ready to go uh, play in the band or something like something to that effect. Okay. And uh, because she's also in the band something. and had to play tonight. Something is equally expensive. And uh, then, yeah, actually she plays the same instrument as Spencer. Funny enough. Anyways. Uh, she... The tuba. Then was, like... The trumpet. Trumpet. <laughs> oh, speaking A, um, okay, guess you just so he texted said, me, hey, smiley face again. So... Oh, is it <laughs> Ashley? Yeah! I thought we were talking about Whitey. You'll have to tell that story here in a minute. Alright, so, then, uh... She is pretty she, pale. She said... Or he's Jeremiah said, "LOL sounds fun." I'm watching videos and being lazy or something like that, and she was like, "What do I say to that?" <laughs> and I was like, "Well, that seems like a normal day for him," and she was like, "Yeah, me too." But what do I say to that? <laughs> okay. Sounds cool. It was wonderful. It was a wonderful day for me to laugh my head off at distress. I can, uh... (laughs) You guys, stop. Stop. (laughs) If I was Jerry, this is what I would expect. (laughs) (laughs) So, also... The, be- the not, best thing about nobody... that is, like, I can just imagine, like, the conversations him and Ivy had. I bet they were, like, five-minute-long conversations because Jeremiah would just send these one, like, single-ended, like, responses. That's, so, it's weird because the only thing Jeremiah... Nobody tell Jeremiah... You no, know, he's like, like, she asked, what are you doing? And he goes, well, I'm sitting here on the couch, you know, doing nothing, kind of bored. And you're like, how do I respond to that? <laughs> cool. Okay, that sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, cool. So... Nobody tell Jeremiah that this has happened because he doesn't know that I was talking to Stella the entire time that they were texting. <laughs> um, well, to be honest, you're probably the more interesting person to talk to. He won't listen to this podcast. What? No, he... <laughs> oh, and now, news. I bet I know what his downfall is. Being a ginger? Um, we doubted his methods. <laughs> well, one, one, we doubted his methods, and two, uh, she obviously isn't as good at diving as him, so she's not good enough for him. She's a swimmer, actually. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that, ah, that's great. Isn't that, like, a big thing between the, she, the swimmers and the divers? Swimmers made fun of divers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's really bad, though, so... Oh, okay. Okay. it's not that bad, then. <laughs> she's he a, can swim faster than her by a long shot. And, and he's not a swimmer. And he's not a swimmer. I just think it's amazing. Di- that's swimmers like, don't give divers any credit. That's like the person that plays tennis that can't hit the ball with the racket. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> yeah, that's me. It's, it's like the opposite of Dallas at bowling. Uh, oh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I was bowling Dallas one day and he threw a uh, 557 against me. <laughs> did we ever tell that story? We, uh, yeah, we, we did. kind of did. He right, like, okay. just adds numbers to it every time he tells okay. a story. Yeah, it began with me beating him with, like, 
140, which was a good game for me because I never bowled that high ever again. Yeah, and a bad game. And Blake uh, has been Elijah. adding to it every time. Hmm? Elijah, you have to tell the story of Ashley. Well, I kind of oh, did. Remember my whole conspiracy theory story? I don't remember that. With her and her boyfriend, Logan. I don't oh, remember that yeah. either. Do you not? No. I remember that. You no. might have not been here. That might have been the one. No, I've been to every single podcast. Except, Except for that, that one. Oh, then um, you should have remembered it. I don't remember it. I can try to reiterate it. And even if I did, I wanted your hand. All right. I'll, I'll do a quick recap of it. So, I used to date her. Quotes. <laughs> Quotes. Quotes around dating. And and she, I don't know. I What's around used to? Used to <laughs> fort vigorous. Well, she was... Used to? <laughs> what? We never... I graduated she from, well, she was a grade below me. I graduated from middle school because the school we, um, all of us used to go to only went up to middle school and then switched, and then you would move to somewhere else and get a job. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> they grow up so fast. <laughs> well, anyway, it was like right at the end of my school year when, when this, when this, um, happened right. and. Um, as I got to know her, which I never actually, I don't think I've actually ever seen her since the end of school, but <laughs> <laughs> talked to her a lot on Facebook. And I really, Girl, you ugly! I realized she was really stupid. <laughs> Not, like, I, I, don't, I don't mean she's just retarded. She's socially inept, in, in my sense of the word anyway, because... She, she just, she's like she just Jerry. Like, she she's like Jerry with texting. Okay. <laughs> Except on a on a whole different level, because I'm like, she's like, what'd you do today? I'm like, I don't know. Sat around. Oh, cool. What was your favorite part about that? What? <laughs> <laughs> the part where I picked my nose. <laughs> <laughs> the part where I picked my nose. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, this is like these single-ended questions. Well, anyway, like, how do I respond to this? Anyway, yeah, eventually she stopped texting me. Like I, I, I would stop responding because I'd get her text like in the middle of school, and I'd be like, "Nah, I'm not." And and I wouldn't, and it would be, I'd, I'd, I'd make the excuse it'd be too late to respond to her by the time I could. <laughs> <laughs> so. So she eventually stopped texting me. And then, Wait, would you make the excuse to her or, or to yourself? Yes. And <laughs> <laughs> and she, I guess, I don't know, maybe half a year ago she started texting me again. And I got to know that she got a boyfriend. His name was, actually I didn't know his name. Um, actually I didn't know she had a boyfriend at the time when she started texting me. She said eh, she was seeing a therapist because of, or not a therapist, maybe it was a therapist, something about her getting low grades and not being able to concentrate well in school or something like that, which is, I don't know, she's had a problem like that. It's kind of like Brad, our friend Brad. Qu quotes around the word yeah. friend. Shut up, Elijah. <laughs> we don't talk to him much. But I like Brad. He does, he, I'm sure I, I, would, I would talk to him, but, I don't, you know, he'll probably be at the school carnival. Oh yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, man, I should, I should go to that. Oh, oh we God. should totally tell the story of. What day is that? Um, it's in April sometime, I think. We should totally tell the story of uh, what happened. The call and a highlight. No, no, fre okay, no, no, no. Freshman year. We're not telling that one. Our fre Dang our it. freshman year. All okay. right, I I'll tell that story. With Fred. Okay, not right now though. <laughs> I'm still finishing my thing. Um, yeah, finish your story, and then I'll let my dog back yep. in, and then I'll tell my story. And um, after um, after a little bit, I don't know, a few days of texting on and off, I guess. Just I don't know. She was talking. I was like, she she goes, she goes, how are you doing? I'm like, aren't you in school? She's like, yeah. And she's like, I just got in trouble. I'm like, was it for texting? Yeah. Me? What you gonna do? <laughs> she's like, she's like, I just got in trouble. I'm like, was it for texting? No. <laughs> 
No. 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 <laughs> and I think the next the next day, maybe I'm sitting around in my in my dad's. I, I'm I'm about to be home alone. My dad's leaving, and he goes he goes, "Hey, don't go anywhere." I'm like, "Okay." I don't. I I have I have a car, but no life. So now what? And <laughs> I have a car, but nothing to it. Yay! I have a car. I have a phone. I've got money. Now what? <laughs> and he's like, the he's like, thought of life scares me. I'm just gonna stay home. He's like, you going to a birthday party? I'm like, no. He's like, <laughs> he's no. like, it's her, it's her birthday. I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't know this. This is my bad. I got on Facebook. I was like, oh, it is. I, I I looked at her page to see what it was, and I was like, oh, it is. <laughs> Have to double check. Yep. And um, before I say this, uh, I had been, around the time I'd been texting her, I'd been getting, like, friend re- not friend requests. I'd been, like, requests from Facebook by some guy named Logan Thompson who wanted to play, I don't know, like, a, a invite to some game, but I only got it to my phone. It was via email, or no, via text message. It was not on Facebook at all. It was like somebody had written up the text message saying um, Logan had wanted to play with me. And I was like, that's kind of weird. Because I couldn't see it on Facebook at all. And I I look at her page and I'm like, oh yeah, her birthday is today. And I see in a relationship with Logan Thompson. And I went, oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, oh. Is this the recap version or the full version? And it's, it, I like this version. Yeah. And I look at his page he has two posts from he had two posts from like the last year. One was maybe a day or two after she started texting me again, and one was like a year ago. So I looked at the recent one and said some some guy just tried to sexually assault my girlfriend. And I went, uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. He's like he's like he's like they better check their insurance because I hear ambulances aren't cheap. And I was like, oh no, I know what this is. And the my whole conspiracy was she started texting me, started saying stuff to him about me texting her back saying weird things. And now and I don't know, kind of resenting me for not texting her back, and now she's trying to get me in trouble with him. I don't know. That was that was my now question. I ain't saying now Elijah. Yeah, I ain't saying she a gold digger, but. <laughs> Wrestling with the broke. broke. <laughs> Blank. Anyway, she just eighteen years. Eighteen years. I'm she's sure. got hands yeah. in your pocket. She's got eight you for eighteen years. No, I'm sure. Someone thought it was a smart to sexually harass my girlfriend, then threaten her. So he might want to pay his insurance bill because I hear ambulance. I hear the ambulance isn't cheap. This is from last year in September. Yeah, that's what. That's right when she started texting me. Yeah. This guy is the definition of just classy, like, complete bad, <laughs> Class- bad to the bone. <laughs> bad. <laughs> oh God. So, okay. All right. December, Should I tell? Well, I, I say, Josh one thing. Story? She stopped texting me for a while, and then December twenty-six, texting me, "Hey, smiley face." January 4th, hey, smiley face. Oh, God, she, he's got a pedo stash. January 22nd, hey, smiley face. January 29th, hey, smiley face. There was no space in between the Y and the smiley face. I was disappointed. January 30th, hey, smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> January 30th again, hey, smiley face. January 30th, one more time, hey, smiley face. Today... Is there a space? No. Yes. Today... Damn it. Today at 9.44 p.m. That jerk. Today at 9.44 p.m. Hey, smiley face. Should I respond? Oh my. What should you respond? Oh, we have to respond. Okay. I, we gotta have some fun with this. We haven't even started our topic because it's been almost an hour or a half hour. Let's, let's, uh, uh I got an idea. I think we you, should so go through the text as we, we like, as we do the topics. Yeah, yes. Okay, so what you need to do is what like just to catch her off guard, send back this really elegant like like old-fashioned English to like I do indubitably say that uh I or be, you can or you like, can just do, needs like, to be like, it just needs to be like well-worded, like uh-huh. it's so proper and then she'll be like what this guy Oh, I know that? I know she tried to sound like, smart texting me cuz she's like, "Oh yeah, that's that's quite interesting." And I was like, "You don't say words like that. Shut up." 
<laughs> watch it. What? Text her and be like, thank you for uh, using the Pizza Hut text line <laughs> to yes. What is your order? to order a large pizza? Text one. If to order a medium pizza, press two. Should I do that? You know, to order a small. Yes. No, no, no. Like, like it has to be like this. Like, because their things are so specific. They're like, if you want a two-topping medium pizza, you need to reply two space and then medium space cheese. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. You go ahead and work on that while I tell the Josh Hickman story. Okay. All right. I say his last name. Because we don't care. Because, <clears throat> because we don't care about this guy. Because we're obviously that's why, hardcore. That's why I said Logan's last name. I'm hardcore. I'm hardcore. I don't ride ponies. I ride unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> that was... That was uh, oh, my God. He's so cool. That was Nigahiga. Okay. So... Like, what should I call Don't like, sue thank us. Thank you for texting the Pizza Hut. Texting hotline. All right. No, te- right, uh, the so, te- Pizza Hut, uh, um, all texting order, sir, so, or like some, you know, has to have order in it. Text, text to order hotline. Yes, text to order, but use the number two. <laughs> yeah, and it's all one <laughs> word. Text to yeah, order, all one word. With hyphens. She's going to message right. you on Facebook. I want to, I want to <laughs> open up my internet and get on Facebook as well. Careful, your computer might overheat. <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't propped up. It's not on the tablecloth. <laughs> oh All right. So, uh, freshman year, we went to our old school, our old middle school and elementary school school carnival, to just hang out and meet up with old friends and talk to old teachers. Right. So, also there, uh, going back in time a little bit to tell the story. In fourth grade, there were a couple bullies at the school and that were a grade above us, and we had extreme snowball wars against them. And uh, by extreme, we mean it wasn't snow; it was ice. Yeah, it was. It was uh, pretty extreme. And I too like to live dangerously. And then also in fourth grade, fourth grade, Josh picked up Blake by the shirt and tossed him to the ground. I threw and, a snowball at him. Yeah, because Blake threw a snowball at him. Yeah. After all of the other snowballs had been thrown. And neither of them got in trouble. Because Josh's mom works for the school. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I also remember... Uh, my, anyways, my mom, some... my mom kind of went this off is, on the principal. This is when I was like in... I don't know. Were, were we like in sixth grade at the time? Is that what you said? Fourth grade when it started. Fourth grade. Oh, well, I, I, I remember... I say, yeah, yeah, I remember throwing yeah. around snowballs and... <laughs> And when somebody came back at me, they, like, shoved me into the snow, and uh, my, I think my glasses fell off, because I still wear glasses, because I was a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I remember somebody picked them up. Well, anyways, it was either Dallas or Caleb. One of the... Years later. <laughs> okay. Um, years later, freshman year. Now we're, we came back. This is in April, so it's summertime-ish, springtime. And... Uh, me and my buddy Brad that we talked about earlier in the podcast. Blake. What was that, sorry, Blake? Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, Brad and I were swinging on the swings, and also my friend Jill was there too. So, um, Josh and his gang of jerks uh, decided it'd be fun to still try to pick on us. And especially Brad, because he didn't think Brad would try to defend himself. So. Uh, oh, also, as a, as a side note, Brad had... Uh, he started out, like... Brad had liked Ashley for a long time as well. The the Ashley... A different Ashley. No, no, we're, same, we're not same, he, the same Ashley I'm texting. No, this is, this is a different one. Really? Yeah, but uh, Josh was talking about the other one, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, and the, the one that Blake doesn't uh, like. This Ashley. We'll call her Ashley McBitch. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Josh was just like, uh, 
<laughs> Thanks for watching. Josh was just like, you started out like, hey, Brad, you want to talk? You want to chat, buddy? Hey, Brad, do you want to talk? And Brad had still hated this guy because of all the stuff that he had done to us way back when. And then eventually, this didn't bother me or Brad. We just ignored him. And then uh, then he started saying, and you got to remember, this is at a private Christian school in front of little children, which made it a lot worse. Hey, Brad, did you F Ashley yet? Did you? And he kept going on with this. And at that point, I, I started to get a, a little uh, ticked off. So I got up. So did Brad. Uh, I took my glasses off. Wasn't was Brad on, yelling so at him? Broken. It makes me mad just like reliving what, this. Wasn't stuff. Brad yelling at him? Yeah, Brad was yelling at him. I remember too. me and Blake and I think Sam were over off yeah. to the side and, and Blake's like, Brad, don't talk to him. Yeah. So I hand my glasses to Jill just in case something happened. And uh, nice. I like it. <laughs> the, the letters are too much for the number. I like that. You want me to send it? <laughs> yes. No, do P just do 1-800-PIZZA-HUT. Yeah. Capital H? Yes. Yeah. I tried to change it into so, Skype window. I don't know. Um, Brad, while he was yelling at him, I took my glasses off. All right, and I sent it. I was like, hey, Stop. 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 I said it better than that at the time, but I don't remember what I said. And uh, I can remember being on the other side of the playground and then like Cherish and Christy both running up to me and going, hey, Dallas is yelling at Josh. I was like, oh, I want to go see this. <laughs> and I remember so, just like running over to the swing and then instantly starting swinging the opposite direction just so I could watch. <laughs> so uh, Josh then gets up from where he was sitting at the picnic bench thing that the school had. And uh, he starts saying, like, oh, you got your buddy now backing you up now, Brad? And I was like, yes, I am. And he was like, oh, you want to fight then? You want to fight then? I was like, okay. And I stepped up to him. And he was like, oh, so you really want to fight? Punch, punch, me, in, punch me right here. And uh, he stuck his face out towards me and pointed at his cheek. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't hit girls. And uh, then he was like, oh, oh, this guy really wants to fight. This guy really wants to fight. Talk talking to his friends that were sitting with him. I don't know how he had friends. You know what the funny thing was? Their reactions, there was none. <laughs> they, they, yeah. they were like, cool. Like, so, like, his, but, like, Aaron didn't smile. Jordan even got up and, like, left. Oh, yeah, Jordan, Jordan left. Jordan's pretty cool. Oh, I <laughs> I'll that. believe his name. Jordan's pretty cool. <laughs> Weep that, that last name out. Jordan. Yeah, Jordan is... This is not Jordan from our Jordan stories, but this is a different Jordan, and he's a really cool guy. I still talk to him. Uh, however, he was in that same class. Yeah, he was very funny. So, <laughs> so uh, Mr. Hickman was like, all right, this kid really wants to fight? All right, let's go over there then. And he pointed like way down at the end of the parking lot. And uh, at this point, my dad had went outside to smoke a cigarette in the car. And when he was pulling the car around to park somewhere else, he saw this going down. And he was like, hey, Dallas, come here. And I ran to my dad because <laughs> I'm more scared of my dad than I am of uh, Jerk Hickman. Jerk. Yeah, like I would, too, because Jerk. your dad's, like, awesome. Yeah. Your dad could crush so, you. <laughs> I will crush I. Yes. <laughs> Literally and metaphorically. Yes. So, um, I told my dad everything that had happened. My dad leaves the car running and gets out of the car. <laughs> and, uh, he's like, all right, what's going on here, boys? I'm talking to, uh, Josh and also Aaron, another Josh's main buddy that liked to pick on us that had a really squeaky voice. Oh, yeah, Aaron was... Um, so, then, uh, after now we're in the parking lot, and Josh is like, oh, you want to fight too? Talking to my dad. Now, 
I want I want you to picture this. Josh weighs maybe 110 pounds. And no, 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 like, like I think I can describe this better than you. Okay, so we're talking no. about we're talking about a toothpick here who's white. And he's got like burr haircut. My and dad's he, black. He, <laughs> yes, because your dad's black, obviously. Because no. you were raised in an interracial home. No, and we're talking about this kid that like wears a flat bill hat, which one automatically, in my eyes, labels you as a douche because no one wears those. And <laughs> no, he wears it on like the tip of the back of his head. Like it's not even on; it's just being held on by some like probably hairspray and some gel. Like the ash, ash. So and Ashley and he's wearing some, he's wearing like a graphic he's wearing like a graphic tee and he's got his like pants down below his butt and his like Joe boxers pulled up to his like I don't know chest. Nipple. All right. Anyways, Blake, stop. <laughs> um, this guy weighs We're talking about the, like, 110. Douche baggiest guy I've ever seen. My dad weighs about 275 or so, oh. and. Uh, my dad has also worked at a uh, center for children that don't know how to act properly or whatever. Like so a, he's dealt with like these kind of hospital? people. Like a juvie? It was... Oh. Put that out, Elijah, because that's a very well-known... Yeah. All right. Cool. Kind of. So he knows how to restrain kids and whatever, but... Uh, Josh is like, oh, you want to fight too, big man? I'll drop your butt right now, jerk. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he, just started, he just started screaming obscenities at your dad. Yeah, he, like... started, he started screaming obscenities at my father. And uh, my dad is like, look, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to hit you. You're just a kid. I'd get in a lot of trouble. However, my son here. <laughs> <laughs> and... He offers me to fight him. He's yeah, this point, yeah. Like a true father. Volunteering you up. At this point, uh, Jerk Hickman goes back to his truck, and Brad yells at him one more time, and my dad's just like, Brad, stop. <laughs> and, and Brad stops, because my dad said so. And then <laughs> he drove off. Or, and then uh, Jerk Hickman's dad came up, who's actually a nice guy, and... Uh, we don't know what happened to Jerk. Um, I can't even find his Facebook. Again. That's probably a good thing. Anyways, um, his dad's just like, all right, uh, I don't say that those that kind of thing around the house, so I'll be sure to have a talk to him when we get home. And uh, as far as I know, he's gotten banned from the school forever for whatever reason. Like, he can't go back for any reason, no matter what. So, that was a fun time. And that's the story of how I almost got in a fight freshman year. Not in school, by the way. I remember, yeah, this I is remember a... breaking a kid's nose at camp. Let's not talk about that. We, need to have, we have topics to yeah. actually get to. Um, okay, hold on. Before we start the topics... I need um, somebody to restart the call and I'll restart the recording because I am lagging behind everyone very badly. All right, I'll, I'll host. All right. All right. It says recording started. Get it together, Tyro. Yep, all right. It's working. Get it together, Tyro. All right, I'll just add this to the next one. But no longer lagging. I think it's when my family came home, it messed up my internet, and I needed to re redo Skype. All right, so uh, our first topic of today... <laughs> 45 <laughs> minutes later. Yeah, we did story time first is... this time, I guess. Yeah, except Jordan's story will still be at the end because I got one today. Yep. Um, we're we're gonna talk about three games: Sonic Boom, Octodad, and Thief. All I'll right. start with Sonic Boom. All right. Because I actually have that article pulled up. Um, <laughs> so do I. Or I did. Hold on. Um. The next Sonic the Hedgehog game, Sonic Boom, for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS, will be developed by a pair of Western studios, Sega announced today, and deliver a fresh approach that will be at once both familiar and new for Sonic and his friends, Tails, Amy, and Knuckles. Amy isn't his friend. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say that. I was gonna be like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, is Amy really his friend? Uh, the Wii U and 3DS games will be based on Sonic Boom, a new franchise in the Sonic universe that will extend into television, gaming, merchandise, and more. Yep, they're making a TV show of it as well. Shh, sorry. 
Not you, my phone. Oh. Sega <laughs> of America's senior director of marketing, Marcello Churchill. Marcello? I don't even know. They're, Marcello. And apparently for these... It has an H, dude. Apparently for these games, they're making said, like everyone older as well. Like, Knuckles is super buff. Said the, said the new take on Sonic won't replace modern Sonic, will take the franchise to another level. Sonic Boom is the third title in Sega's exclusive deal with Nintendo and promises to take advantages of the Wii U and 3DS hardware. Dang it. Aww. That's a bad thing. Yeah. That's a bad thing, yeah, by the way. Yeah. Because I don't want to play on the gamepad on every game that I play. I want to play with a regular controller and do regular gameplay. Masahiro Sakurai, thank you. That's uh, Super Smash Bros., by the way. Designer of Super Smash Bros., if you didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to happen. Controllers. In addition to featuring Sonic the Hedgehog's traditional sense of speed, Sonic Boom will also introduce a new inner beam mechanic that will allow players to explore the game's world in unique ways. Uh, you want me to go on, or do you want me to just give you highlights in the next part? Uh, yeah, kind of do highlights because we can talk about this a bit. Uh, Wii U version developed in Los Angeles by Big Red Button. Using the CryEngine 3 uh, developer quoted, operate in harmony with the television series and act as a prequel to the series. It will be very different. It'll be a very different Sonic in both tone and art direction. Uh, both titles are developed in collaboration with Sonic Team, Sega said in an announcement. In the video game, Sega's collaborating with we do that's like french we english do uh productions to create a cg television series based on sonic boom that will air on cartoon network in the 2014-2015 season with 52 episodes that are 11 minutes long um why are... what did they do to knuckles and what yeah He's okay. Apparently, okay. Wanna... Here, apparently, this is like a, you know an alternate type of Sonic thing. It's not. It's not really a main series. It's based in like I don't know a little bit um future. Put that picture. Yeah. Everybody is. I'll put it on the video. I don't care. Everybody is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody is older essentially, and Knuckles is like hugely buff. He's like tall too. Yeah. It's weird. The knuckles. Freaking echidnas with their odd body parts. <laughs> odd body parts. Um, I don't know if you have the same link that I did for an article. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm. So are you on IGN? Uh, no, I'm on Polygon.com. No. Well, I'm on IGN because that's where I got all these topics from, or not all of I'm, them, but. I'm gonna send you that link. Okay. So people have that one. This also has the YouTube video. I'm not sure if yours does. Yeah, mine does. The trailer. Yeah. yeah. I'm also going to give a quick update on Super Smash Bros. Since I oh, uh, yeah. vaguely mentioned that earlier. Uh, Lucario has been announced since the last time. All right. Which surprised me because I thought they would have, like, Zora Rark. Or yeah, because cause it, was, it was Mewtwo and then it was Lucario that replaced him. Right. So... Lucario was just here now. So, also the picture of the day today, which is Friday, um, is Mother Brain shooting a laser at Samus, which means Mother Brain's gonna be one of the bosses in the story mode. Apparently, I like that they added story mode for Brawl. They should, yeah. That was that was a nice thing. Yeah, I liked it just as something you would do like once. Yeah, and it also helps with learning all the characters a little bit. Yeah, and they all get introduced in different ways in the story mode as well. Oh, wait. The massive assist trophy Mother Brain. It's an assist trophy. Oh, okay. I remember there's an assist trophy before, which was like a, a bunch of small brain, Mother Brains. Not sure if you mean Metroid. Met I don't know. I don't... I, I, I don't play Samus. <laughs> Did they make a movie of Metroid? Probably. They've, they've made a movie of everything. Like... I don't think they 
it, it's probably yeah, wasn't it called like Metroid Other M or something like that? That was a game, Blake. <laughs> yeah, but like there's you can go onto YouTube and type in like Metroid Other M movie, and there's like a bunch of things that pop well, up. It might be like cuts. Yeah, yeah, it's it might be. Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's probably just the cutscenes, but still. Of the game. Yeah. <laughs> They have a live action oh. movie of Pokemon, something or other. I kind of want to see that because I never saw it. It was like a stage play. It wasn't really a live action movie. Have you guys seen them making a live action movie of Legos? What? No, no, it's not. Yes, and believe it or not, not, it does kind of look. It's like not a, a, like something I'd want to go see. <laughs> it's not a live action movie, is it? I'm talking. It's like it's like an animated movie for Lego. Yeah, it's an animated movie about like the whole, but it's about basically like the like, whole. Do you know what Lego live movie. action means? I know what live action means. I misused the term, but anyway, yeah. Have you seen that though? They're making like a Legos movie, and it actually looks like something really interesting. No, to I, be honest, I, I'd probably watch it. There's Batman in there. I know, and he's and like he's so incredibly cocky. Like the actual Batman is so awesome. Because I'm Batman. He's like the uh, the mo like they did a uh, a mock trailer for the movie, and like the main character is like this construction work. He's like, and I'm the main character, and then Batman pops up. He's like, actually, I am. Um, I the movie's all about me. <laughs> and there's one part where he's like, there's like a hamburger. Or, oh no, no, it was a it wasn't a hamburger. It was a button, but it looked like a hamburger because it's Legos. And it was sitting on like this counter, and Batman pulls out his boomerang or his, like his batter ring and throws it at it. And he like all you see him do is like all of a sudden he starts throwing like five hundred batterings at this thing, and finally hits it. And he goes yes, first try. All right, Ashley, <laughs> okay. Hey, she hasn't texted me back, and I'm assuming she thought it was real. Yeah, should I should I let her know? <laughs> no. Yes, you should. <laughs> All right, that was two opposite answers. I'm going to explode. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay, as long as it still records. As long as yeah. you clean up the mess afterwards. <laughs> I'm going to leave it for now. I will maybe I will maybe tell her I'm I'm joking. That was that was a joke. Not real. You should Dude, knuckles message her on muscular. Facebook. Do what? And you should message her on Facebook and be like my phone hey, got hacked. Have you, have you ever tried to text me since <laughs> certain date? Because since then I got a new number and give her the same number that you already have and make her freak out a little bit. <laughs> she doesn't get on Facebook. Even better. <laughs> so what she does, she'll see it and freak out. <laughs> All right, Octodad. Talk about it, Elijah. All right, Octodad is an indie is game. Like a, no, 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 no. Okay. No. No. Octodad was an indie game with incredibly hard controls. Have you ever heard of Surgeon Simulator? Yes. yes. It was the Surgeon Simulator before Surgeon Simulator, except it was a full-blown indie game um, where you actually had things to accomplish, and there was a whole plot to it. You were an undercover dad. People thought you were a person. And you had to be, a, you had to trick them into thinking you were a person by doing tasks without um, messing up too bad with these terrible controls. However, this is Octodad Deadliest Cat, Dadliest Catch. It was made into an actual game for a console instead of just an indie PC game. I've watched a bunch of people play Octodad. I've actually never played it. This game is similar, like you know, Surgeon Simulator or Quop. I have played Surgeon Simulator a bunch, actually, and Quop. Um, <laughs> uh, apparently, here, I'll, re I'll read you the intro on IGN. Octodad is a lovable lead character. Oh, wait, no, that's not the beginning of it. Hold on. Uh, Octodad, Dadless Catch, is uh, about an octopus masquerading as a human, <laughs> and is pure, absurd genius, and a premise-worthy... Of even the most coked up, <laughs> shut up, <laughs> and a premise worthy of even the most coked up 80s sitcom producer. And as the name suggests, Octodad is married with children, and must maintain the facade of being a regular Joe even at home. <laughs> it's a great setup. We have children that aren't octopuses. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't give any context at all at the beginning. Instead, it drops us straight into his wedding day. It's a deliberate, bizarre place to start, and you have to learn the controls, which are terrible, 
Each one of you have to, like, walk each, each aisle, no no but, each like, one yep. yep each one of his legs is independently controlled. Your body flopping <laughs> about as you lurch around while objects can be picked up with a single arm. It's so bad. You'll have your tux on and attempt a nonchalant walk down the aisle in no time. <laughs> it's basically like. It's basically like quap. It's very, it's very funny though. I, I like. Yeah, because your body's kind of just like all over the floor. This game came just recently came out, just like I don't know, a week ago. Um, there was a blind race of it <laughs> on Speedruns Live, but I didn't get to. Yeah, there was also it. a, uh, there was also a trial of it. They had it when they released the, uh, the PS4. There was a trial of it you could play at the CES demo. Yeah. Um, apparently, it's not that... Um, Alright. Apparently, this game, it says it's a side effect, um, is that the deadly deadliest catch is not that hard. It's far happier being the goofy, easygoing friend that makes you laugh than it is trying to be your demanding drill sergeant who delights you in testing your will to go on. Now, as I remember that the indie game was actually quite hard to c accomplish yeah. a lot of things. Um... All right, thief. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show you an image. the The thing of the um the the thing below this image says so meta. This is from Octodad. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it was rated a 7.8 out of 10. So, all right. Thief. Thief Wait, is a Thief game. Thief was developed by Square Enix. It's a good game. No, it's not out yet. It, it's a good. It's game. coming out February. Today. No. Um. <laughs> no. I, it's coming out late February, I think. But we talked about this way back, like at the first podcast with about E3 unveilings. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was supposed to be, like, Assassin's Creed slash uh, Hitman-esque. You remember? Game over. Uh, Garrett, the Master Thief, steps out of the shadows into the city. In this treacherous place where the Baron's Watch spreads a rising tide of fear and oppression, his skills are the only thing he can trust. Even the most cautious citizens and their best guarded possessions are not safe from his reach. As an uprising emerges, Garrett finds himself entangled in growing layers of conflict. Led by Orion, the voice of the people, the ty tyrannized citizens will do everything that they can to claim back the city from the Baron's grasp. The revolution is inevitable. If Garrett doesn't get involved, the streets will run red with blood and the city will tear itself apart. I, I'd just like to point Features. out... Features. You are Garrett, the Master Thief. <laughs> Step into the silent shoes of Garrett, a dark and lonely thief. Oh, a dark and lonely <laughs> thief. <laughs> just so bad for him already. With an unrivaled set of skills. The most challenging heist and the most inaccessible routes. The best kept secrets, nothing so, is out of So, Assassin's here. Creed meets Hitman meets Payday 2. The city, yours for the taking. Taking, not taken. <laughs> Explore the sick and troubled city from its shady back alleys to the heights of its rooftops. Assassin's Creed. Sneak <laughs> into rich houses. Hitman. Infiltrate the best guarded mansions and work er, in every dark corner. Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Unnoticed and unsanctioned. Choose your Splinter approach. Cell! <laughs> Hitman again. Leverage Garrick's arsenal Blend. with your blackjack. Shoot one of Poker. the arrow types, or use your Zelda. newly acquired <laughs> acquired focus abilities to manipulate the environment and outsmart your enemies. Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of master? Do you, what kind of master? Do you, what do you <laughs> it's a lot of games. <laughs> Unprecedented immersion. <laughs> Become Dr. one with Dad. the world. <laughs> Become one with the world thanks to groundbreaking visual elements and truly tactile and visceral 
first person experience. Yeah. Through jaw dropping next gen techno technical possibilities, Thief delivers unprecedented emergence emergence immersion through sight, sound, and artificial intelligence. Also, the game is developed by Square Enix. Buy it. Um, I'd just like to point out it's rated M for Mature for blood, nudity, strong language, strong sexual content, use of drugs and violence. I am getting it. <laughs> Ma mainly for the nudity. And, and the strong sexual content. Same thing. Not always. Okay, do we want... Okay, I'm sorry. So, fizz.org, or, yeah, um, is my new favorite site for topics. Because they're like their own newspaper about every every topic imaginable. So I just go to the technology topics and look at like internet and. I thought that was Reddit, Elijah. Um. Well, this is a little bit easier to navigate. I could go to Reddit. Actually, I probably should. And <laughs> and also this place has actual facts instead of stupid people. Well, that's just in the comments section. Oh. And the yeah. and the people that submit links. No, it's the people that submit posts that are their own doing. Um, links. Mainly what Reddit is, is a bunch of people like, hey, this is going on, and they link to that page. It, Yeah. And each subreddit has its own topic. This this is where I got Sonic, or where I saw Sonic Boom from, but I had heard of Sonic Boom just because I'm, I'm subscribed to some video game people on YouTube, and I had seen it, but I never looked at it. Um, so, 3D scanning with your smartphone. Is apparently possible. I can I can read this for you. Ooh, it's pretty long. I'm gonna read the main part of it. Uh, traditionally, 3D scanning has required expensive laser scanner equipment, complicated software, and technological expertise. MIT spin out this two technologies has developed um, or helped change that. Back in 2011, it released software that essentially replaced ex expensive scanning hardware with personal cameras. This innovation led to rapidly rising commercial enterprise that concluded with uh, Vistu's sale to a tech giant, which is now bringing the technology to public worldwide. Uh, uh, web service Hyper 3D, with no E in Hyper, um, could rapidly generate digital 3D models of an object or seen from a series of user-uploaded 2D digital photos or videos, by us um, usually captured by cameras, smartphones, or webcams. We gave people the easiest scanner po available, the cameras they already owned. Um, it only takes a smartphone or a digital camera a few minutes online to build a 3D model, and only a few moments more to send it off to be 3D pl printed. Blake, it is possible when you get your 3D printer, taking a picture of my penis, and we're printing it. Dude, I've already Please got you beat. Please that entire thing out. <laughs> I no no because I already know of a website you can go to that will do it that you can just download a pre-made penis. Well, but anyway, yeah, I've I've heard of this service before because Autodesk actually has their own service called One Two Three D Catch, mm -hmm. and um here's the problem with it, I haven't tried this service yet out, um and I'm going to actually here soon because I'm gonna download their software and try it. But the problem is you have to have a really, like, absurdly good camera, like usually a, a DSLR, so something mm -hmm. expensive to take these pictures with because what it does is it looks at the picture and figures out based on levels of contrast, and it does some crazy stuff, and it ends up making a, a bunch of graphing points in 3D space. Are you on this then, page, Blake? No, no, I just know how it works. No, 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 the, the page that I was reading. Yeah, I, I went to Twitter all right, all right. Tried, and, like, read up about it. But um, the problem is it... It's not exact because it's only pictures. If you had an actual 3D scanner that used lasers, yeah, you you would get the best resolution and it would be well, that's amazing. What they're saying this is it's the yeah point. no they're saying this is you take a bunch of pictures and it and it runs it through a bunch of processes and figures out or it makes a really good guesstimates. But the problem is I tried doing a 3D scan of my phone and I ended up getting this kind of gray blob. So. It works sometimes because I so, did do a, a 3, I did a three D scan of a remote and that one came out kind of decent. But let's see, this is supposed to be really good. Have you tried? The yeah. Funny, the funny thing about this software is it's no longer owned by Hyper. It's owned by Cube, and Cube bought the software and adapted it to work with their three D scanner. 
So now for like 400 bucks, you can buy a 3D scanner from Cube 3D and make your own 3D scans, which kind of defeats the purpose of having this online service. Is this sir? I think they probably would um, make it a smartphone app eventually. Yeah, I've seen like I, somebody will. The thing is, uh, it seems like most of this stuff is tailored for iPhone stuff. So getting now, it for Android is tough, which me, sucks because I want to uh, talk about one thing, a couple things that this could be helpful with, because uh, 3D models aren't used just for. They're no, also they're used awesome. for engineering. And I know they're also used for video game design, which is something I want to do as a career when I get old enough to. So with very good technology like this, that hopefully will be getting uh, progressively better in the future, I think it'll be much easier to create more realistic games. The thing I thought was really cool is, did you see the, uh, you know about the Oculus Rift and whatnot, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so they did you see they've released a new version of that? Uh-huh. They released a new version of the Oculus Rift, but um, I think Dallas has seen this. Did you see the thing it's called Omni? Mm, I may have heard of it. Let me. It's like it's like this kind of uh, it's a hexagonal shaped platform that is dipped in the center, and you wear these special shoes, and it's supposed to simulate what it's like walking, and it holds you in place. What they do is they take a connect sensor from a 360 and point it at you. And it, it tracks your feet. Oh, I'm, so that, I'm looking uh, at it, yeah. It knows when you're walking yeah. and knows when you turn. So that it can tra- Well, what they're saying is that with the Oculus Rift, they can track your head so you can look around, and then they can use the Omni to track your movement so when yes. you walk, the game walks. But they're saying they can figure out how to do these 3D scanners, then they can literally put you in the game. Like, if you're doing a third-person view, you'll be able to see yourself in the game. That'd be... Oh, wow. I mean, I still, I, I still think so, I'd appreciate first person more than that, though. Yeah, first person work better, but you know, like, like, you get, what that would be tough, <laughs> especially you know, Omni. Imagine how hard that would be, um, with the Oculus Rift and the Omni trying to play something like, you no, know, just any game, because you, is like any, any, yeah, the, po- the just any is- game, because you'd have to be running the whole time, going through it. I, yeah, the problem is with the with the uh, you know most first person games. You ever notice that whenever you move your head, that's the direction that your body tends to turn. You know, like in Minecraft. Well, in, in pretty much in any game, when you move where you're looking, that's where you turn to it. Like if you if you turn your your focus and exactly. then you walk. Exactly. Yeah. Pretty much it's in real life, used you to. turn to where you're looking to walk that direction. Well, no, but I mean, and the problem is, like. Um, I watched a uh, a demo of Team Fortress 2 on using the newest version of the Oculus Rift, and it used head tracking. The problem is, it would allow you to use take the character's head and move it around. You could look all over the place, but when you go to fire your gun, it's still pointing the original direction that it was pointing. So you have to move your body to where you're looking now, which means everything's kind of slower. And it's not like the human body, where when we turn our head... We've just we've just got the the ability to know where that gun has to go instantly. It's not like a video game where you have to kind of bring it up real slow and then aim it. Mm. You know, it's it's a lot harder. MLG the, man. You know, yeah, yeah MLG. MLG man, it's so pro. <laughs> and uh, so it's gonna be a long time before we get to that point. <laughs> not unless someone can come through with some breakthrough piece of software that can do like, you know, position solving. I take back everything I was thinking earlier today. Earlier today, I was like, you know what? We haven't really made any um, good advancements in technology r- lately. Like, the newest generation of consoles has been the least amount of change since the last generation. <laughs> and now I look at this, I'm like, holy crap. Never mind. <laughs> We've been doing so many things right. I am unaware of. So, do you guys want well, to the, go well, the cool thing through. that I saw was there was a, uh, a Kickstarter program that came out. For Omni? There was a uh, Kickstarter. 
No, it wasn't not. It wasn't for the Omni. It was actually an add-on that you snapped onto the back of your iPad, and it was a 3D scanner, and it was like 200 bucks or something oh. like that. And it would just it would snap onto the back of your iPad, and you plug it in, and what it would do is they aimed it as an indie game maker, so that you could, if you wanted to play like a game of ping pong, you could use your couch as the opponent, and it would produce a virtual ping pong, and it would bounce on a ping pong ball, and it would bounce on the floor and bounce off the couch back at you. And you'd have to hit it off your iPad. Huh. Yeah, so it allows you to do virtual games, but that, and but it would also do 3D scanning. You could scan objects and import them and do all sorts That's of other really crazy cool. stuff. But yeah, I thought it was cool. All right, so Facebook battles to stay young and cool. Yeah. So that's that's actually the title of the article. My not, time, my, my own, own words. words were Facebook is the new MySpace. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm just going to read this beginning here, maybe a couple paragraphs. 16-year-old Owen Fairchild doesn't hang out at face hang out at Facebook as much as he did when he was just a kid. Let's talk about that for a second. He's still a kid. Yeah. He's still just <laughs> yeah. a kid. Second of Our all, perception of old people is getting sh- like young. <laughs> Why was he on Facebook as a younger a super a lot younger than that. Yeah, you can't be on there. There's porn. <laughs> no, that's Twitter. That's yeah. Twitter. That's true. And Tumblr and Instagram and Snapchat. And Flickr. And Pretty internet. much everything but yeah. Facebook. Yeah. yeah. MySpace. And MySpace. <laughs> oh, dude, MySpace. Remember, they were like, there be there's there's bad images. And like a girl wearing her bikini, but it was like a really small one. They'd be like, oh my god, it's so bad. Now on Facebook, it's like it's not uncommon to just see a girl's boobs. Well, not on Facebook. On Twitter. Like, just, just... All right. So continuing. It is not that he and his friends are abandoning the social network. They are spreading their love to rival networks like Twitter, Pinterest, Snapchat. What? Males are never on Pinterest. I don't know what Pinterest is. <laughs> it's a wedding it's like maker a or something. Thing. It's like it's... you design your wife and wedding and <laughs> husband and stuff. It's just Blake stupid. goes on there and designs his husband up. <laughs> no, sure am I. Shut up, Jerry. And he yeah, would be beautiful. <laughs> They're spreading their love to rival networks like Twitter, Pinterest, Snapchat, Instagram, and blogging platform, and blogging platforms like Tumblr. I've moved on, the teenager said. I go to Tumblr a lot more. There's a lot of funny stuff. Snapchat is super fun because you can send really unattractive pictures of yourself and they will delete after a few seconds. Oh, man. <laughs> Contrary to what grown-ups might think, teens sometimes prefer to catch up on... Uh, life face-to-face in the real world, he added. I think Facebook is still very popular, even though some people might be losing interest, said the 11th grade student at... Oh, um, yeah. That charter school in across the bay from San Francisco. <laughs> there is no talk among my friends saying Facebook is for old people. Facebook, born a college campus a decade ago, born on a college campus a decade ago, has grown to 1.23 billion active users worldwide. Uh, 10th anniversary, accelerated by smartphones. Uh, uh-oh, I saw MySpace in this paragraph, so I'm going to read the whole <laughs> thing. Hot young services such as Pinterest, Twitter, and Snapchat has sparked concerns that Facebook is losing teens and may follow predecessor MySpace in the social net- what, network Hey, obscurity. I know a guy named Bob that still goes on MySpace. I know a guy named Tom. Get on MySpace, but just... I know a guy named Tom that still goes on Tom. MySpace. He's everyone. Only people that had on MySpace. He, he's, that he, that, Dallas, you only get that from Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Okay. Facebook's demographics appear to be shifting as adults, even seniors, use the network to catch up with long-lost friends and stay connected to families and colleagues. Princeton University student uh, Susanna Sharpless said she and her friends have stopped letting Facebook consume their lives. Now it's Twitter. Uh, breaking <laughs> now Facebook it's Flappy Bird. Served as a detox period during... <laughs> Iron Pants! During which she and her friends got a, a hand, better handle on what was a daily habit. The college junior said, I realized how to live without the mindless Facebook stalking that I used to do. Congratulations! You're just like everyone else that used to be before I'm Facebook. I'm stalking someone on Facebook right now. 
I check my Twitter feed all the time. There is nothing that I definitely need to know on Facebook. Really? There never has been. <laughs> there isn't on Twitter either, or Pinterest or Snapchat. She also finds more interesting fare on Instagram, which Facebook bought about two years ago in a billion dollar deal. Facebook isn't done, Sharpo said. I think it's just changing in the way people use it. Uh, teens are definitely not leaving in mass, as some reports would have you believe. During er an earnings call this week, top Facebook executives dive set a question what, about whether the social network was losing teens. Uh, this is a really long article. Yeah. Dallas? Facebook reported its profit for the full year of 2013 jumped to $1.5 billion from just $53 million in 2012. And we're back because I'm stupid. Okay. Elijah just posted a picture of a girl that he, uh, he originally wanted to be his girlfriend, half naked, taking a selfie in the bathroom. I am disappointed. It wasn't a selfie. <laughs> yeah. It was only half. Every okay. time you laugh, something moved in your room, and it sounded like you were going... Alright, so... Next article. Google. Okay. Um... Google unveils box for business video. Like, t okay, tell them what I labeled this. Uh, tell tell them what I labeled this topic as. Topic oh, five. Google sells some. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. This discussion topic. Oh, do you want me to read the next one? No, 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 no. We're oh, okay, gonna talk about this first. Google. Google, Google is introducing a video conferencing tool designed to make it easier and less expensive to hold face-to-face -face business meetings, and even even if the participants are scattered in different it's locations. Skype for a thousand dollars for um, classy people. All right, listen to this. The device called Chromebox for Meetings goes on sale for nine hundred ninety-nine dollars Thursday in the U.S. and will be coming. This was posted. When? It is quite high quality. I will say that. This was posted on February 6th, which means it's yep. already out. Which, uh... No. Are we coming... No, it's yesterday, which means it was... That was... Today's Friday. Oh, yeah, oh. Next the Thursday, next day, yes. The $999 price includes technology support for the first... I guess that's supposed to be technical support for the first year? Customers needing support after that will have to pay... Two hundred fifty dollars. I think annually. it. I think it means like a uh, warranty. Yeah. Chromebox for meetings is being sold by Dell Incorporated. Oh, that's why it's so high. Who would buy you this? Would oh, what the heck is it? It's like Skype for a thousand dollars for classy people. Uh oh, Jeremiah. Is it like Google Plus? I don't know. It baffles me that they would do this. I'm like, did they not learn anything from the PS3 sale? <laughs> and they weren't even involved in that. They could. Oh, it can it can connect people in up to 15 different locations, kind of like Skype. A Skype can do with Skype Premium. Oh yeah, it is all video. Yeah, it is all video chat. So you can either pay so many dollars a month for Skype Premium, or a thousand dollars now, and then an extra two fifty a month or a year for this. All right, I just want to point out that at the bottom of the page, the articles all have votes to say whether they like the article. There's or one vote. There's one vote, and it's five out I'm of five. I'm voting one star. There we go. Dallas, vote one star. I did too. I want to refresh the page now. It is now 2.3 out of 5. Yes. Dang it, let's get this as low as Blake we can. Go. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's go to that link. Everybody watching this, go to that link and vote one star. This thing sucks. 
Oh, all, all of our Robertos. I just looked at it. I've never seen this. It's a Logitech webcam stuck to a plastic DVD player. <laughs> like literally, look, no, look at the webcam. Then go look up the, like the Logitech G9, like 930 or something like that. Is there a webcam? It's it looks just like it. Also, notice they have a USB speaker that comes with it. <laughs> it's a two out of five now. Oh jeez. I'm I'm only seeing a I I, like IPs I'm only seeing headsets. Um uh Logitech HD nine something. <laughs> oh right yes, now. that is Logitech. totally it. Logitech, Logitech HD nine thirty webcam. Nine nine thirty. Nine thirty. Nine Yeah, I'm not going to no, remember no, results do, okay. the Logitech. No, 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 look at Logitech C920. That's exactly what it is. What? 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 what, what, what <laughs> it's the exact what, same what, thing. What, what? <laughs> Please put a comparison image on the screen. Yep, at this, point, this is Logitech. what these two things are. There is this one, and there is this one. This one, and this one. I'm not even, and then I I'm really not even changing the pictures. Just the same. I really hope that you remember to uh, put it yep. on there, because otherwise people are just gonna be looking like <laughs> this black is amazing. No, it's it, it, it's, the, the, it's the it's the This is the most contrasted black screen I've ever seen. <laughs> the YouTube background is so white, yet the screen is so black. I always have the lunch. Do you know guys not watch the podcast? I always have the lunch table logo in the background. Oh, I know. It, it is the, it's like dude they bought this they bought the logitech c920 and are reselling it that is it it's the box it's the box that's the thing <laughs> <laughs> the the box that the google thing is is the box the webcam comes in they just spray paint the <laughs> let me tell you let me tell you the good about google versus the bads about google this? right now it's gonna be short All right Goods, Google, in general, they're good. They have a great search engine. Works for images and videos and all that. For other anything. Uh, Google Docs and Google Drive, I guess. Those are pretty good. It is something that I have heard or I've read about. Yeah, that, it's uh, easier than downloading United, like um, files. Yes, but also the United Kingdom is thinking about using it for government documents. Which is bad. Yeah. As far as uh, it being a thing in general, it's very good for just like uh, casual use. Uh, I'm sure it's secure if you don't. Google share Fiber. It. Google Fiber is also a very good. Yeah, thing. like glad. Yeah, the internet service that is really good. Yeah. All right. Let me tell you what Google did bad. Now I'm pointing my hands out. By the way, counting. All right. Uh, a. Number one A. <laughs> <laughs> Example number second. This. This is what they did bad. Example number the first. Example number two B. <laughs> Part Point C. five. The half. Um, Google Plus. Oh God. Incorporating Google Plus into YouTube was the worst thing they've ever done. Yeah. Now let me tell you a little bit about Twitch. Okay, eight, because... eight. Their ideas, no, no. Their other updates for YouTube that didn't involve Google Plus, like the new comment filter system and everything, that was good. I like that. Um, how you can filter spam out of the comments and everything, but making people, even incorporating it is fine, but making people get a Google Plus account to be able to use YouTube, um, the commenting system, that was that was a bad move. Yeah, especially it's okay because I had Gmail, so I didn't have to sign up for it. <laughs> Especially since it's, like, very hard Well, now, to, everything uh, everything I have, whenever I sign in, I either get to use my YouTube account. I can I can choose to either log in. Every time I log into YouTube, I'm like, do you want to use your email account, your YouTube account, or some other account that I accidentally made and can't get rid first of? First name. Um, <laughs> or your first name. Or your full name. Uh, which I had a lot of trouble getting that off of my YouTube after I up uh, after it did its latest update, yeah, it took me like half an hour. In order I, to I was able it. I was able to uh, disable that, so it doesn't ask me for my full name. Yeah, but mine automatically oh. changed. 
It was stupid. Okay. Anyways, um, that that was bad. Um, I hate Google Plus. It's not a good thing. Although I'm not going. To, it's like Google I don't like it. See, space. I don't like it, but I'm not going to go around spamming Bob. Bob does nothing. Bob will not save you. Petitions will not save you. They're not going to change it. They have more money than you. You you leave, they don't care. You won't leave. It's YouTube. Somebody's, everybody's going to use this. Yeah. Story, even if some start a boycott. Even if they hate it. So, Honestly, by, when, when this whole outbreak went over, 87% of people had already switched over. This is an actual figure, by the way. Um, had already switched over by the time people started, like, losing their minds over this. Everybody that you see, that's everybody that actually comments on the videos. That's all the stupid people of the world that do those things, is the the minority of YouTube making this huge, making a big deal out of this. Everybody else just kind of put up with it. It's like, oh, well. No! Exactly. <laughs> So, last thing of the day, uh, our discussion before time. the Jordan story. Oh, or yeah. and, and, should we tell the Jordan story mm, first? No, or? we should we should go discussion topic and then after we've finished that out, I'm I'm pretty sure we all have similar views on the discussion topic as well. I was hoping I was hoping Jerry would be on because I assume he'd think something else. No, Maybe he Kyle. He won't he won't be on though. Never ever no. on the podcast. Don't let Kyle on. You can let our friend Kyle on, but not Blake's friend Kyle. Yeah. Our friend Kyle won't get on either. He he doesn't do much. In the way of in the way of internet. He does he, right. he console games a bunch though, as far as I know. What So the discussion is PC versus Mac. Oh dear God, what have I done? Actually, that's exactly what he put in the uh, topic list that he sent us all. It says, discussion topic, PC versus Mac, comma, oh dear God, what have I done, period. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Um, Mac is better. Let me no, just... uh, Windows is better and a discussion topic. <laughs> well, I, I'm assuming we're going to get into this a bit more. I like I like PC I like Sorry. PC better as a computer. I think Mac eh, I, I I guess this should be more of PC versus Apple. Um or more more of Windows. Windows Actually I, I do wanna the, make a I do wanna bring up a valid yeah. topic today that I just read. Um apparently uh you know there was Steve Jobs and you know, it's, it, it, the Apple company was Steve and Steve because it was Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. Yeah. Steve Wozniak no longer works for Apple now. I'm not sure if he just quit or if he retired. Most likely retired. Got he actually came out with an idea. And as much as I am not a fan of Apple, he had a really good idea. And he goes, um, I think Apple What if needs we have to make, more than one button? I think Apple needs to make an Android smartphone. And, like, literally I looked at in the comments and people was like, screw Steve Wozniak, he's got the traitor. And um, Apple I, fan he boys. actually makes a valid point. He's like, look, Android phone people can make Android phones, but they're not allowed to make iPhones. And because the I iOS system is like every single copyright known to man. They tried to copyright is, is the slide to unlock. But like, yeah, they, they tried, tried to patent they, they couldn't it. They tried to patent it. it. Yeah, they tried to patent it. They, they, they tried to patent they everything Samsung so that no well. other company. Yeah, they try to patent everything about their software so that no one can use it, which is kind of smart because he goes, what's stopping Apple from getting into the Android market? I mean, people like Android. Why doesn't Apple just make an Android phone? And that is a smart thing to do, although I feel like they it's would – It's a very lawyer-ish probably... thing to do, like scummy <laughs> as well. It's not Yeah, because they're, like, they're like, well, Apple is only allowed to make Apple phones because they own the patents. So the fact that they can make Android smartphones, that's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. I don't. But, uh, yeah. Even if they did it, it wouldn't work that well because the people that have iPhones have it because they want an yeah. iPhone. Uh -huh. See, and the people that have Androids 
have them because they like the company Here, that they're Android here's, as. Here's the deal. I, I consider, okay, on, on a PC to Mac scale, PC beats Mac because of a few reasons that I will list off. Um, Mac claims that they can't get viruses, and here's the reasoning behind that. They use a totally different computing type of uh, software. You, If you were going to make... You, you notice that everything that you download has a Mac version and PC version. That's because you have to program everything completely differently um, to work on, on both of those things. So that means there is viruses possible for a Mac, but if you were going to make a virus and you wanted it to be, and you wanted it to a lot of people to get this virus, you'd make it for PC and you'd have to reprogram the virus again to get it for Mac. That's why there's not a bunch of viruses ava um, that you can get on a Mac. And they tell their tech support to just deny that you got a virus and that you must have done something to your computer as well. Just deny that viruses are possible, but they are. You just They're just more rare because you have to go through a whole new level of uh, programming to get to it. Also, Macs are super expensive, oh my word. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like... A... Google video conference. <laughs> Everybody one star Mac. Yeah. However, it's like, um, you see, sorry, um, you see apples and you're like, um, oh yeah, I got this uh, MacBook, uh, I got this MacBook Air. Just take for example. It's like, oh, it's I like, dropped it. It's you know, in it's, five it's, uh, The biggest one they make is 11 inches. 11 inches big. That's almost like, that's tablet territory. My tablet is almost bigger than that. And my tablet, I'm pretty sure it's probably got better specs. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's ridiculous because it, it comes, it comes, it's like, I bought this computer. How much did it cost you? Well, it cost me $1,399. And what all comes with it? Well, it doesn't come with a DVD drive. It comes with one USB port, and I can snap it over my leg. <laughs> and I bought an Alienware that's for $878. That's with yeah. tax. You're, the 78 is what you have to pay, correct? Yeah. yeah. All right, so... And it's it's like it's stupid, and I don't get like what just have you seen the new um the new Mac Pro their desktop? No. It's a cylinder. <laughs> what? It's a trash bin. Look it up. It is. It's that's a trash cool bin. though. It's not. No, you no, could throw not. all your other Mac stuff in there and burn. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Look up. It's called the Mac. Just look up the Mac Pro. They said this computer's gonna be. This computer will last you for the next like ten years. Like... You won't have to do a thing to this. It'll be so updated. Dude, look how small it is. Yeah, it's pretty. Wait, tiny. wait. This reminds me of like those uh, those fans that blow cool air out without having any blades at all. It's just a circle. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Dyson. Yeah. A Dyson. Air... Yeah. Oh, no, 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 Dyson. Um. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about though. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm going to their website. I'm going to the specs for you. All right. It's pretty now, wimpy. This being said, I do consider the Apple phones being better phones in general. I don't. I do. But for this, no, no, no. I hey, do. For the sole purpose of being uh, of the apps, a lot of almost I don't know every every app yeah. that comes out is an is an is an Apple app, and you may you may get it on Android later. Um, I haven't had no problems there, with it other than well, I know there's there's um many there I there's a few Android apps only available on Android, but for the most part, if you want to get an app, it's available on Apple first and then other things. But I don't like Apple's uh internet service either. I don't like I don't like the way the Mac um has their um. Um, desktop type thing where all the icons are in the toolbar and you then you like scroll through them. I don't like the way um, Matt, the Max Apple the Apple stuff is set up. Just how you every, everything is is I don't know a, a lot unnecessary. Um, but but iPads, iPods, um, iPhones. That was for a long time. That was the most advanced. Uh, you know for. Most advanced type of smartphone, everybody got those. I, I well, compared to the phone I have now, I would prefer an iPhone, but I don't. Compared to an iPhone, you'd rather have an Android. It, yes, I I would rather have an Android phone, like a a good Android phone. <laughs> yeah. 
like an S3 or an S4 yeah, or like something. A, like a yeah, Galaxy. S4. Yeah. <laughs> the Galaxy phones just seem droid. to be... I, I do like the new LG Curve, though. Mm -hmm. that, actually, okay, I brought up the tech specs for this. And Dallas, this you're right. This thing is absurdly tall. It's 9.9 .9 inches tall, 6.6 .6 inches in diameter. That's absurd. We need to choose small. a debate topic that not everyone agrees on. <laughs> yeah, okay. probably. Hey, okay, here we go. You can here's I'm just gonna go. This is the all out version. So uh, it's three thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. It comes with six cores, three point five gigahertz. Um, it's an Intel Xenon, sixteen gigs of RAM, um, up to sixty four gigs. Um, oh, also you can. Uh, never mind. The that's a six core version. You can get up to twelve Holy, cores. What is that even possible? Yeah, AMD has a sixteen core processor. I didn't. Yeah, AMD does a sixteen. Now these are Xenons. Intel, you have to like spe You can only like special order them for certain computers, and and, and like the motherboards are so expensive. It's like a thousand dollars for a motherboard. Um, but they're Xenon uh, E5s. You can get up to a twelve like core a version. Like a terabyte. I don't even drive. think that's virtual. I don't even think that's virtual. I think that's actual true cores. Um, up to 64 gigs of RAM. You can get dual, um, dual D700 Fire Pro graphics cards. These are AMDs. Each of them come with six gigs of GDR, GDDR5 RAM, uh, 2,048 st uh, stream processors per card. That's pretty crazy. Three and a half teraflops of performance <laughs> per card. Teraflops? What? It sounds like a derpy dinosaur. Yeah, <laughs> oh my God. what's even better though it, okay you can uh, you I've can do heard up that. to three up to six displays and it only comes with you can get a uh, 512 gig solid state drive or a one terabyte regular drive it comes with uh four us or yeah four usb three things one hdmi out dual gigabit ethernet things and six thunderbolt connectors which are their display ports like it doesn't come with the eight, the uh, DVI or VGA connectors, the blue and the white ones. It comes with like this Apple proprietary mm -hmm. cable. I I want to I want to before we close out um of of the top of the discussion at least I want to talk about. Oh, it also comes with a ninety day. Good warranty. job. I, I want to talk a <laughs> ninety day. That's all you'll need before you break it. <laughs> it breaks after ninety one days. Oh, and it weighs eleven pounds. That is. I don't know. That sounds innovative, but I still don't like Mac. <laughs> I don't like it. Eh. There's also the deal with their manufacturing, the the manufacturing places oh, as well. Imagine. There's also the deal with it's four thousand dollars. Yeah, for, it's uh, what what. There's a lot of good uh -huh. stuff in there, but buying that separately and building a Windows computer with the same specs is going to only be two thousand. And you wouldn't be held back by the Mac barrier. You would have the option to download basically any piece of software you wanted because there's all a Windows version will always be released before a Mac version. Right. So you wouldn't have that barrier. So even even with I'm gonna right. go ahead. I have to I have to go soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out the podcast with the All right, soon. go ahead. So today at lunch, funny enough, we just got our Jordan story today because we wouldn't have had one otherwise. Um, Jordan and his girlfriend were both sitting at our table today, which uh, his girlfriend doesn't always sit with us. Sometimes she has a different lunch period than us. But anyways, for a long time, she's been trying to get him to eat a pickle because he will not eat pickles. He won't eat pickles. Hey, no. hey I guys, um, best use for the new Mac Pro. There you go. Tra trash bin. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Oh my god. How did it not break under I think it's Photoshop, it's Photoshop, but Oh, okay. So, anyway. Anyways. Uh Jennifer, his girlfriend, is just slapping him with his pickle. <laughs> Eat I it! Know. Play it in your mouth. And tickle my play pickle! In your mouth. And, he the face. and he's just like oh and wipes his hand across his face getting it off and then rubs it on Spencer <laughs> and, and then uh, she uh, continues to do this and she drops it on his uh -huh. plate and he's just like and I didn't hear any of this until this part 
which made it even better. Uh, she, he said, don't drop your pickle into my boob pocket. <laughs> in my boob what? pocket. Yes. What? <laughs> my God. And then I was like, all right, everybody, don't drop your pickle in my boob pocket. Jordan 2014. My what? God. And, and, <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Blake's typing it out for you, I think. So, but it was literal in the sense that she almost dropped an actual pickle into his actual breast pocket. Oh, I thought you meant his... Okay, okay I, I get you now. I thought you were ta still talking about his plate. <laughs> I was like, how does that? No. All right. So, then, at this point, I, I decide that I'm done. <laughs> and I get up from the table and take my trash up to the trash person uh -huh. conveyor belt thing and uh i come back and jennifer's just standing there and she's like so after you left i almost dropped my pickle in his boob pocket again and then it fell on the floor and now he refuses to pick it up i was like dang it jordan <laughs> that was the hey, jordan doesn't like pickles. at least it's better than spencer's jordan story which the one? beluga whale. Oh, that was a beautiful it, it, story. Okay, first half kind of threw me I off. I didn't hear it. Okay, here's what happened. I, I'll, I will basically retell the last Jordan story for you. Uh, no, no, no. After, at, no, after, after the podcast Just is over. Yeah, after, yeah, after the podcast. So I guess that was it. Um, I want. Yeah. I, I, I don't get Apple fanboys as well. I don't. I don't understand the giant. The giant appeal. Remember, Blake, remember JT Blake. I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get. I don't. I don't know. I don't get the. I don't get what's so appealing about it. I honestly don't. He was the jerk Hickman of that guy. Hey, except he wasn't a jerk. Well, he was he was annoying, but he wasn't a douchebag. Right. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed the podcast. Tune in next week, maybe, if we do it. Hey, for the next installment. We only missed, we don't get only your missed hopes one up. week this time. Of... Lunch table podcast. This is going to take a long time. We're stopping now. Goodbye.